morning everyone how are you all i hope you are doing extremely good so today let's solve this problem evaluate division uh, this is a lead code daily challenge problem so it, it is a medium level i think you can able to solve this uh, try to keep some sort of pomodoro technique like 25 minutes you try the problem and after 25 minutes you are not getting the problem then come and see the related topics what are the topics they are following try to understand like uh, which concept can i use then you keep pomodoro technique for 25 minutes try to solve it if still you are not able to solve it then you can come here come over here and watch the video solution or you can go to the solutions and you can see like what are all the solutions exist in this way you need to learn so uh, so let's solve this problem i think you have uh, try to solve it and after solving only you are coming and watching this video and try to watch till the end guys so that you can understand the problem easily and i will explain you like what are the intuitions we uh, followed while solving this problem uh, here you are given an array of variable pairs equation and array of real number values uh, in a, here you given equation a and b it states that a divided by b is equals to 2 because value of i represents the equation a by b a by b is equals to value of i suppose you consider this a by b the value is 2 and b by c b by c the value is 3 in this way he has he has given and he has he says that we need to read and he has given some queries we will see like with the inputs and then we can come to any conclusion and if there is the answer we need to return that answer if the answer is not present we need to store minus one and we need to return it and he says that the input is always valid you may assume that evaluating the queries will not result in division he is stating that stating that zero by zero won't exist zero by zero no, will not exist suppose a by b is two and a by b is three this is contradictory right so this is also not so this type of contradictory scenarios are valid you need to see otherwise we will get confused so let's solve this uh, let's understand with this example so uh, yes when a by b is equals to 2 and b by c equals to 3 suppose you want to find a by c what you will do i will divide it a divided by b and b divided by c that's it right b b get b b will get cancelled and we will be remained with a by c and suppose he has given b by a what is meant by b by a just we need to uh, 1 divided by 1 upon a upon b so it will be 1 by 2 we need to just uh, divide it divide it and the divisor should be interchanged and he has given a divided by e a does not exist in this input so we can say uh, there is no e so i will return minus 1 a by a what is a by a it will be same so it will be 1 like you can cancel it like this you can say that it is one and a by x x that does not exist in the uh, input equation so i will return minus one after uh, i think you got like what are the inputs and what are all the scenarios so let's see how we will solve this problem uh, you are given a and you are given b you are given c mm, suppose you want to give a by c what i will do i will uh, so i want to like i can store some I can come to a conclusion what is the C or we can get a conclusion like what is B and we can get to a conclusion like what is C in that way we can solve and there is a another thing which I want to say that uh, suppose you want A to C you can say this suppose A by B B by C and C by D he has given A by B is A A by B is X B upon C is Y and C upon D is X a upon b will be x b upon a will be 1 by x here only we understood right so uh, a divided by b is equals to 2 then b divided by a is 1 by 2 uh, that is it and let's understand this suppose he has given a upon d a upon d what we what we can do a upon b into b upon c into c upon d if we do this what it will happen b b will get cancelled b b will get cancelled c will c will get cancelled c, c and c will get we will remain with a upon d 
by this what we are understanding we are multiplying this x into this y into z to get the answer is equals to x into y into z and suppose he has given d by a d by a what you can see i will start with the d d upon c c upon b and b upon a now c c will get cancelled b b will get cancelled we will remain with d upon a what would be the answer d upon c will be 1 by z into 1 by y into 1 by x i think you got the intuition like what exactly we are doing so we can say that we can consider we can consider the values as an graphs he has going strings and each string is a graph each string is a graph in that way we can solve this problem i will explain you like how exactly if there is a path uh, if there is a uh, suppose he has given uh, a by e what you will do i will calculate a by b b by c and c by d and e does not exist we will return false 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 and we will say that a to e there is no path if there is a no path we will return minus 1 i think you got the logic like what exactly the what is the math intuition this is the math intuition and let's see how we can implement this using we can solve it using dfs as well as bfs but if you go with bfs there will be a lot of code and it will be like little bit of confusion and sim dfs is pretty straightforward let's see let's see the code and i will explain like each and every part so, uh, here i have taken map map y y you can see the constraint you can if you see the constraint carefully these are lower case letters and a of length can be 5 so what is saying is that i will give what is saying is that i will give a b c d divided by e f g h i some z you can consider four five characters you can give and you can give some value like 3 by 1 uh if in the query if he has given a b c d and z what it will happen if you take it as a string it will take lot of computations right every time the five characters need to be compared and it need to go this side every time that will happen to make our life simple and to make this problem optimized let's store a b c d and z as one and e f g h i as two in this way like if there are we are getting new arrays suppose a by b b by c c by d will store a as 1 and b as 2 then we are getting first a then b then we are getting b and b already is stored so not required then c as 3 c is already stored then d as 4 first we will map it so i am taking the string and we are taking the integer and and a is equals to we have the equation right this is the divisor this is a dividend and we are finding like if a does not exist we will keep the value of c and if a exist we are saying over here like suppose the b exist then it's not required right in that way we are comparing and we are keeping we are storing to make our life simpler because if you deal with strings yeah you can solve it but it will be a bit complicated and then he has then what we are doing we are double uh, and we are storing because why we are storing now a to b huh? for a we are storing b comma suppose the length is x x and we have to store for b for b upon a a and it will what it will be it will be 1 by x because the path is reversed in this way you can see like you can see b by i i 1 by v by i and and if a is equals to b if a is equals to b means what it makes a by a a by a we need not to push into the array right if if it is going a by a then directly we can say a by a is 1 so not required so to decrease the number of computations we are just continuing and we are 
we are pushing into the adjacency list i think most of you know about adjacency list if you don't know about adjacency list go to geek for geeks and type like how the matrix is stored it can be stored in different formats you can store in 2d uh, 2d array or adjacency list and unordered map you can store in many ways it is i prefer adjacency set because it's it's, it's look good <laughs> i like that <laughs> yeah and we are taking vector double and we are telling that it is an our answer and we are iterating each query a and b we are storing it a and b and if if uh, so you can take this example uh, this example e is given a we are storing one b we are storing two c we are storing three he he said that in, in this scenario for a it will be one for a if there is an empty map will return zero if if any one of this is zero and that that output uh, that query's input is not there in the equation input so you can say answer dot push back minus one because the answer does not exist and there is definitely there is no path uh, and then we are storing double is equals to c is equals to 1.0 and this is a path path is like a dfs traveler uh, dfs traverser sorry and path is that so i i used path and let's see i am sending a what a will be a will not be a string a will be like it's an integer b same it will be an integer we are camp camp uh, we are making very simpler by storing all the string into the integer so that our lives become simple and this minus 1 that is an list and we are sending this c and we are sending this visit let's see how the path uh, i think most of you saw this path like uh, there is a graph 1 2 2 to 3 and there is 4 to 5 suppose if 1 to 5 there is a path there is no path we will return false 1 to 3 yes there is a path we will return to this straightforward question right i think most of you saw it in the same way it is very much similar to that little bit of changes let's see uh, recursion is pretty straightforward guys first in the recursion we have to think about the base condition what would be the base condition if if this is our source a is our source b is our destination right a is our source b is our destination if source and destinations are equal then we are returning true pretty straightforward yes pretty straightforward we are returning true and we are saying that i have visited suppose you can take this this example one i will say that okay if if you are at node one i said i will say one is already visited and we will boolean we will answer because we need to check like whether the path exists or not so we are making it as false if one of the paths exists and it becomes true then we can say from that path the path is always exists let's see let's see i will explain you in very detailed way and i think we all know this iteration r to i at the sense of here a dot first would be our next like suppose we are at one and one to two two will be the a dot first and the weight w1 would be i dot second huh? right and if it is already visited then it doesn't make sense to traverse again so we have to continue it and we are storing answer equals to answer or path hmm? and if the answer is true if true then we are multiplying it and we are returning true if it is not coming into this array what we are returning we are directly returning the false i will explain you with simple simple example guys let's see one suppose suppose you want the path from one to three what you will do one two three first i will start from the one then i will go to two then i will go to two then i will go to three from three you got the destination right three sorry sorry six an extra miss sorry three and you are checking we are returning true so what i will do i will return true from two i will calculate this weight suppose consider this weight as w1 sorry guys sorry sorry w1 and this is w2 i will consider this w1 and from here also we are returning true and we are considering w2 as well and suppose let's see one to four one to four uh, i will go to one to two and two to three and after three we have six yeah we have six we will go to six 
will go to after 6 we can't go to 4 right what 6 will return it will say 4 is not there I will return false 3 will say 4 is uh, e has returned false I will return false return false return false by this you can say false has been written so the answer would be minus 1 so 2 to 6 you can consider 2 to first I will go to 2 to 1 2 to 1 what 1 will say there is no path so I will return false okay in the first iteration it is saying I am false and 2 can also go like this it will go to 3 as well 2 I will say now I will go to 3 and then I will go to 6 yes I got the I got the destination so I will return true from here I will return true and for every true only we are multiplying you can see for every two only we are multiplying and we are returning the answer because we don't want to make like uh, consider like there is a big thing 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 4 to 5, 5 to 6 and suppose you want a path from 1 to 4 you are going like this and we are returning we don't require this thing right 5 and 6 why we do why we want to iterate here it is returning true then you are coming here and you are returning true that's it that's why we are directly returning the answer from here we don't we don't require the another scenarios uh, how much it will go down i am no i am not sure about that okay in that way we can solve this problem guys i think you got the intuition you got the understanding what would be the time complexity time complexity would be like order of uh, in for every query q for every query q how many queries are there q into path or worst case how many times it will iterate to the length of the graph we can say length of the graph so time complexity would be q into order of n if n is the length of the graph uh, i think you got the understanding guys what be that space complexity space complexity would be the same order of some n order of n because we are storing the map and we are going a distance a list uh, it will be order of n i think you got the intuition guys if you if you got the understanding please please do like the video and please subscribe the channel and try to solve lead code every day because you can see my streak it's 140 so i hope you will continue solving this type of problems and see you tomorrow guys bye bye